Hi everybody, gonna do a shout out from Aruba. And we're gonna shout out for Mr. Arlen Galbraith of Canada, William and Chick Chick from Aussie Farming in the Philippines and also from One Pinoy Chick Chats. Shout out to you guys, my idols. And also we want to make a shout out to Ellie Rodriguez and Greg Diaz for their support of the channel. Love you guys. Also wanted to do a shout out to Aussie Bicolana lifestyle thank you for all the comments and support thank you very much i do this for you guys so i'm here in aruba taking a holiday and i just wanted to thank everybody for their support and last and final shout out to mr gd mead of australia i hope you're feeling good always always thankful for your support gd and please hello to your, say hello to your wife. And uh, I really appreciate you guys. I split the team into twos. Myself, Lawrence, and June the Matinee Idol worked on the front perimeter of the fence while Rex and Bunso worked at the front gate leveling the ground. The dangerous part of laying barbed wire like this is that when you cut a piece of barbed wire from the coiled roll, it tends to snap at both ends. So you have to be very careful that you don't get a kickback of barbed wire into your eye. 
donating blood when you're doing this in your arms or in your hands is very, very common and not unusual. However, what I did was I had bought um, three pairs of cowhide and pigskin gloves from the U.S. And this helped us tremendously. It didn't cut as much as much as it normally would. And also, I found that it sped up our process a lot quicker. It just since you didn't have to avoid the prickly barbed wire as you bent them around and twisted them around the horizontal fence, you were able to get a lot of it done quicker, um, more efficiently, and didn't suffer as much cuts. Why didn't I lay extra barbed wire going horizontally to fill up the space? Mainly because we didn't have pins that were gonna be sticking out of the old fence post that we could hang them onto. Also, I noticed that by putting vertical wire up and down and connecting them to the horizontal wire, it added more strength to the actual uh, fence so in between the posts, once we added the vertical wire, it got much stronger and stiffer. And also, what tends to happen after you sort of frame out little squares on the horizontal barbed wire, you can't stretch it and open it wider by pulling up and down on the wire. So that helps to prevent people from sneaking in and if they do, they're gonna donate a little blood and skin. Getting some work done. We're getting the front fence done. Rex is still going on with the driveway. And uh, we keep working.
tinanong kung meron akong insurance, sabi ko, oo. Oh, pero kahit wala akong insurance, ang gobyerno ang nagpapayo. Ngayon lang. As you can see, that barbed wire snapped back, hit me right on the head. Luckily, I had a hat on. Very dangerous laying this barbed wire. What a beautiful job Rex did. They did all that. Now they're trying to move the other body. Everything is flat. We can get in, we can turn the car around. He did a great job. So now we've got a nice entrance to the farm. Exactly how I planned it out to be. So we just went home to get um, food for the boys. About 1.30. We just went to get food for the boys, um, headed back to the farm. We've been um, putting barbed wire up, razor wire, and also fencing in the back lot, or as William would say, William the Aussie farming in the Philippines, he would say in the back paddock. So we've been trying to shore that up. And, uh, you know, my I get so lost when I'm working that uh, Rex didn't even tell me it was um, 1 o'clock already and decided for himself to buy the guys, you know, food and uh, just didn't tell me, which I feel bad because, um, you know, I always feed my guys. I, I don't, you know, that's one of my things. I feed the boys and uh, the food's on me. In any case, um, headed back, we have lechon paxil, we have empanadas, we have boiled plantains, and rice. So that should keep us uh, going and motivated for a little while.
also uh, starting to close off the area that they can crawl through the river. And in the tree, June made me some U-shaped uh, nails and I'm fastening it so they just can't rip the barbed wire off the tree. and the uh, stuff, um, the U nails. These are the bastards to cross the river and then would go in my property and eat all the stuff. Um, the mother is tied up, but they normally let the babies just uh, wander and they're the ones that does the most damage. So now we've got razor wire. I'm shoring up all the weak spots. And uh, we'll get them. I'm gonna close this up right here with barbed wire. As soon as the people doing the um, the well finishes, whenever they get here, I tell you these Filipinos, man. You make a contract with them, they show up a few days, and then they never come back. They've been out five days now. <laughs> 